A theme emerged in the last 18 months as I talked with civic leaders about the Royals' plans to build the downtown stadium. The sentiment goes, if there's a billionaire worthy of the public's trust when he promises to be a strong partner with Kansas City and Jackson County, it's John Sherman and his wife Marnie. That begged the question why, so I went looking for answers. Benefactors John and Marnie Sherman were among the first people Mali Agarwal met when he became Chancellor of UMKC in June 2018. One of the first things we realized, my wife and I, was the kind of people that the Midwest has. They're genuine, they're gentle, they're kind, they're humble, and they're really hardworking. And when I first met Marnie and John, uh, I would say that they epitomize the Midwest. John built a natural gas empire that made him a billionaire, but Agrawal said you'd never know. We were over for dinner one night at our house, just my wife and I and Marnie and John, and the end of the meal they were carrying dishes into the kitchen, just like any other friends would. Uh, so very, very humble, easy to talk to. Agrawal isn't alone among Kansas City's education leaders, from early childhood through college, who admire the Shermans. Education levels the playing field. It's the great equalizer. It doesn't solve everything, but if you think about it, where you end up, I mean, this is what I think drives us. I, I think about it a lot. Where you end up should not be dictated by where you start. Education was important in John and Marnie's families, and both have relatives who became teachers. Most of our donations and circle back to education and so you know we can't we can't be everything for everybody but we um, you know we try to do what we can in in that sphere and particularly as it in, impacts the Kansas City community founded in 2006 long before John Sherman bought the Royals the Sherman Family Foundation donates millions annually to nonprofits with a focus on urban education and wraparound services for students and their families. I think what's uncommon about John and Marnie is the fact that they're just not giving um, financial support, but they believe in the mission and they can articulate it. Education is at the heart of the Shermans' philanthropy, including chairing the campaign to help Operation Breakthrough expand. That is really moving the needle. You know, my simplistic mind is let's take Operation Breakthrough and let's duplicate it and let's put it all over the country. Christo Ray High School of Kansas City tells a similar story. Marnie recently rolled off its board, but the Shermans have been supporters since its founding. The impact that they've had in not only in our school, but in the lives of the kids that have gone through Christo Ray is significant. It comes with a personal touch as a mentor for Meyer, the school's first female Latina CEO, and in supporting the students. At the end of our CEO breakfast last year, he stayed. He took pictures with every kid. He took pictures with everyone that was there. He made the time. He made the time for the things that really matter and Marnie is you know I have referred to her as my angel sometimes the Shermans also support UMKC's Institute for Urban Education which identifies kids in underserved communities like Tanya Martinez who want to become teachers providing scholarships and early career support as soon as me and my sister started elementary they're like you're gonna go to college and I was like Okay, I'm like, what, is that a park or something? The daughter of immigrants, Tanya was a first generation college student who made the journey to become a teacher thanks to the Institute. My elementary was tough because I came an only Spanish speaker. But it also inspired her. From then I I knew, I was like, I, I have to do this some way, sometime, some, someday. Now, she's smoothing the road for a new generations of kids with whom she closely identifies. I see them more with more confidence because back then I didn't have that. The success rate and the retention rate of those teachers five years after they're in uh, is way above the norm. And that's, that's, that is, uh, you know, that, I think that's one of the best investments that we make uh, at the foundation, that, that not just, you know, because those are teachers that are impacting students' lives. Every grant the Sherman Family Foundation gives stays in Kansas City, but they don't shout their good deeds through a megaphone, preferring to lead with humility in Agrawal's words. They're very sharp, very intelligent people. They know where the pressure points in this community, and that's what they're doing, supporting those so that we can move all of Kansas City forward. So they, I do believe that they truly, truly care for this community. As for why? We're just normal people. I mean, we, I grew up at 33rd in the Southwest Traffic Way. John had a similar upbringing. We just feel like we're 
normal people, just trying to, we got lucky in life and we're just trying to help other people be lucky too. I wanted to tell this story months ago, but it took some convincing to get everyone to sit down with me. It's not intended to change anyone's mind about the stadium idea, but rather to pull back the curtain on who the Shermans are as people. In the newsroom, I'm Todd Palmer, KSHB 41 News.